What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. I just pulled up to this lumber place in Sealy, Montana, which I have not been here before. And so the um the guy on the forklift came and told me that I needed to go back up here to this main road, make a right, make another right, and I guess there's a scale house that I have to get a scale ticket before I can get loaded, so, but he was on top of it, I mean, I no more than pulled up and didn't even have a chance to get out of my truck before the forklift driver was over there, so that's where we're headed now. It's just literally like out the passenger window. I can see the scale house, so. Uh, without further ado, figured I'd show you guys this little town. This is Sealy Lake, Montana. So let me flip the camera around and let's get this video started. All right guys, so we're pulling out here onto the main road to head over to the scale house. a little bit so I can see a little better that truck right there in front of us that little freezer truck that you can see that white one um, over there right there that one has 20 ribeyes for $25 There's a big sign on the side of it as I was pulling in <laughs> but this is Sealy Lake Montana, just the bottom half of it. I came in from this road here that you see in front of us. And then uh, I'll go back out the same way. I'm headed to Grand Junction, Colorado. So and I imagine this little dirt road right here is where he wants us to turn right. He said, make a right and a right. So. Let's see if we can find a scale house down this little dirt road. Looks like the right road. We got lumber trucks, long trucks. That's what my dad drove was the logging truck for a while. And my granddad. We have to come over here and get a printed scale ticket so they know how much we weigh. That way we can get loaded. We're getting loaded with lumber essentially, so I imagine probably about the same as what this guy has on in front of me, other than this guy's a triple axle flat bed, where I'm a dual axle step deck, so I won't be able to haul as much as him, but that's okay. We don't want to be heavy, heavy anyways, leaving this place, so. But we'll wait for this guy to move. Get his scale ticket. And then uh, go get loaded, so. I'll see you guys here in a minute after we get our scale ticket. Our scale ticket. Our light weight is 30,220 pounds. That's minus me, and we're only about halfway full. We have about half our tanks full of fuel, so you know if you add another 800 pounds on for fuel and another. Uh, 200 pounds for me, you know, we'd be about 31, 220, which is 
about right. I tell people that my light weight's about 31.4. So. But anyways, this is, I think this place is called the Pyramid. Lumber, something or another. I don't know. I have to look at the great con again. Then I can tell you guys. Sorry if this seatbelt's making a racket. You guys just hear banging against the side of my cab over here. But anyways, 30,220 pounds. So... I imagine they'll load us up up to weight, essentially. Now we'll jump on the wrong side of the highway. And cruise back down here. That's the office there on the left. Where all these are parked and then we'll pull up behind these lumber trucks right here the red sign there on the left that says lumber trucks and then we will walk back over to the office so let me go get checked in now that I have a scale ticket And then the wait begins. So I will see you guys here in a few. Well, that was pretty fast. I can find this guy. So I just had to wait a couple minutes for him to adjust the load because it was for a maxi versus a standard trailer. So I had to adjust the weight down to. 48,000 pounds versus whatever, 90,000 pounds. Alright guys and gals, so we just got loaded, I just pulled back out front, um, I didn't really load or record the loading process, I just got my paperwork, um, it is, it's Pyramid Mountain Lumber Incorporated, if you guys are ever in the Sealy, Montana area, which is up north of Missoula, Montana, um, we started out at 30,220. We are now at 79,320. So, looks like I will be chasing fuel because I can only put on about, oh, a thousand pounds worth of fuel. Well, no, sorry, a thousand gallons at eight pounds a gallon. So, just under that, so, or sorry, that was again. Got my head's all over the place. That didn't make any sense. A hundred gallons at eight pounds a gallon is 800 pounds. So, we will put on, oh, probably about 120 gallons by the time we get to the town pump it's about oh, I think about 150 miles from here so we will burn off quite a bit of fuel between here and there but, but we have 14 bundles on which is Yeah, 49,000 pounds, so, or 
we're just over 30,000, now we're just over 79,000, so 49,000 pounds. So, and then we're 20, what are we? Oh, shiz, I wrote it down. Just under 11,000 on our stairs. We're 31,000 on our drives. 37 on our uh, trailers on our trailer tires so he could have shifted everything forward which I knew better when I looked at it I could tell I was going to be heavy in the back but 37 isn't terrible it's still a little bit more than what I like to run on the back end of my trailer even though Legally, we can run up to 40,000 on these spread axles. Um, you know, I don't like to be anywhere close to 40, which 37 still leaves quite a bit of room, but at the same time, you still get that weird, bumpy feeling going on where it feels like it lifts up the back into your truck there's so much weight in the back end of your trailer it's going like this the whole time and so it's lifting up like your drive tires anytime you hit a, a decent little roller as you go through it you're like, so I don't care for that feeling at all not to mention I don't like the wear and tear back there on those tires but, but 37 isn't horrible so I won't complain about it I didn't make a move and I could have had a move everything he could have slid everything about three feet forward and had everything butted up to the step deck um, which would have probably put everything right where it needed to be right around 34,000 pounds all the way across the board but but that's all right we'll be okay we'll roll with it she's rolling fine you know we've only put two miles on so far but some of those bumps right there that I'm talking about. But we'll get her down to Grand Junction, Colorado, get her offloaded, and then we will cruise over to Gypsum, Colorado. Tomorrow, get reloaded, and then head to Salt Lake for the weekend. I need to take the truck in Saturday. I just hit 100,000 miles on the new truck, so it needs that service done, so we are doing our 100,000 mile service on Saturday in Kenworth of Salt Lake, and they are also uh, going to plug it in because when I start it up, where it has the where it has the gear listed, you know, like right now we're in 13th gear, where it has that when I start it up, it flashes GI, and I don't. I haven't done any research to be honest, but it flashes GI for a couple, like 20 seconds or something when I first start up the truck and then it beeps at me and then it goes away. And so they'll be plugging the truck in, figuring out what that's about, uh, doing the 100,000 mile service, and then my passenger swivel seat's supposed to be in and the swivel countertop that goes behind the passenger seat is also supposed to be in. So hopefully they get those two things installed as well. That way the passenger seat will have air ride and the passenger seat can flip a 180 and go from facing forwards out the front window to facing backwards towards the bed. That way you can actually use the passenger seat as like a little bench to eat chair to eat at the at the table that will twist out away from the wall behind the behind the scene so but that'll be in a different video I'll, I'll show you guys all that but anyways guys that has been my lumber load 